Hi, I'm Nick Martin, Director of Managed Services here at Main Street IT Solutions. We're going to continue this month's theme on OneDrive. This time we're going to be looking at how do you keep OneDrive files on your computer for when you go offline and vice versa. How do you also offload those files you're no longer using to keep your hard drive space nice and clean? Stay tuned and we'll find out. We're going to get started here by opening up our OneDrive folder and we'll continue using my test folder that I created in previous videos. Uh, I'll start by explaining a, a couple different things we're looking at here once we open up our OneDrive folder and it's all going to be part of the status menu. If we look here, we can see there's a lot of cloud symbols here uh, across a number of these folders and this indicates that this is up in the cloud only. Uh, it's in my OneDrive but it hasn't been downloaded to my computer. A, uh, a white circle with a green check mark mark in the middle indicates that I've opened this file, but that after a certain amount of days, typically 30, 30 to 60 days, it's going to offload this file back to the cloud if I have not used it. And this is just to help uh, keep your folders clean and ensure that you're not continuing to keep files on your computer that you don't really use all the time. And finally, the third option status, status option is this white check mark with a green circle in the middle and this indicates that i've told this folder hey you need to stay downloaded to my computer at all times and so any files that are created in this folder will automatically be downloaded to my uh, workstation here but we're going to continue looking at our test folder so we're going to highlight this and you must highlight this for all the op you must highlight the folder you're looking at changing these options to um, in order to get the correct menu option so we'll go ahead and right click this folder and this is going to present us with a couple different options and because this is a cloud only folder we're going to see this free up space is not uh, is not it's grayed out we can't actually check that so I'm going to go ahead and select this always keep on this device here and what you're going to start seeing is this uh, uh, blue uh, two blue arrows here uh, you might you might have missed that but here's actually what it looks like when it's syncing up and then it's going to turn into this uh, white check mark with a green circle and that's how you know now we fully downloaded this folder to my desktop so I'm going to go ahead and open up this folder just to verify that it has indeed uh, downloaded to my workstation and yes you can actually see here our very important important presentation and our very important spreadsheet have been downloaded to my computer um, so we're going to go back we're going to go up a level and then alternatively what you can do is actually we're going to go ahead and right click this again and now we should get the inverse options here we should get the options to free up space uh, for, and then you could actually see here always keep on this device is checked so we're going to go ahead and click free up space and, and this will offload those files so to keep it in the cloud so we always have the option to re-download those items but it's going to remove it from our hard drive locally thanks for watching i hope this tip within onedrive has been helpful for you and your organization don't forget to like and subscribe to continue to receive tips just like this one in the future.